Welcome back to another video. Today I am finally giving you guys a spring haul. I've been wanting to do this video for so long, so I've been picking up a couple things every now and again, so I thought I would share that with you. This haul is a mix of both beauty and fashion, so there's a little bit for everyone. I was considering waiting to post this haul um, to collect a little bit more things, but I think I'll just separate them and put that into a summer haul instead. So without further ado, let's get into this haul. So the first couple of items that I want to talk about are from Morphe, and of course it is their Morphe subscription box. So if you guys haven't heard of this before, it is basically um, a Morphe subscription service where every single month you get a new set of brushes that are in total worth $30. So every single month for $20 US, you do get $30 worth of brushes. If you want to see what I got last month in this subscription box, then I will leave a link to my unboxing down below as well as up here. Today I have this month to show you guys. I'm so excited about this kit because it came with eye brushes that I've been really really wanting to get. So these are the brushes in this month's set. There are five brushes in total and all quite small. Um, I'll just go through them quickly with you guys. I will have close-ups so you guys can actually see what the brushes look like and I'm not just holding them up like this. So the very first brush is um, the M510 brush and it just looks like this. It is a natural hair brush um, and it reminds me of the other brushes that I got last month. So again, check out that video if you haven't seen it before. But this brush is, like I said, a natural hair brush. I don't know what I'm going to use this brush for yet. Um, it might be good for highlighter, but I don't know about these natural hairs yet. I might have to do some research on how other people use this brush just to get some ideas a little bit. This does seem like the perfect size to set underneath the eyes, maybe do a little bit of baking, but again, because they're natural brushes, you're going to have to think a little bit um, more cautiously about using these natural hair brushes because they work well with some products and not so much others. The next brush I've been wanting for a very long time, and it is the M508 brush. I am so obsessed with this brush. I've been wanting a smudging brush for so long and this is literally the perfect brush ever. So this is just a really small round pinched brush um, and the bristles are actually really really soft. I've seen a lot of other smudgy brushes um, where the hairs are actually quite stiff and when you actually put them on your eye they can be kind of rough but these bristles seem to move a little bit so um, they tend to blend out the product a little bit more nicely and are kinder to your eye. I have used this already and I have a tutorial coming up soon using this brush, so you'll get to see this brush a lot more in my videos. And the last three brushes in this subscription box for this month, um, they're all quite similar. This one is the M505, the M330, and the M504 brush. And like I said, they're all quite similar. They are all um, blending brushes. So all of these brushes are slightly different shapes, but I feel like the one that I'm going to get the most use out of is the M330 brush. I'm not sure why I like this one so much, but the shape of it does remind me of the MAC 217 and the Sigma E24 brush, I think? The M330 brush is just a little bit smaller than the other two brushes, and I feel like it would fit very well into my crease, especially because um, I don't have much room on my eyelid. So even though these brushes are quite similar, I feel like I'd get good use out of all of them. You can never really go wrong with some more blending brushes in your kit. Quite frankly, I'm really lazy when it comes to washing my brushes, and these are the only brushes that I have relatively clean because I have used them today to do my makeup, obviously. I will leave the link down below to the Morphe subscription box. I think it is totally worth it, and the brushes are really, really good quality, so you guys should totally check it out. So the next store that I went to um, was The Body Shop, which is a store that I normally don't go in, but they had a few things that I couldn't find anywhere else, so... So the first thing that I got from The Body Shop is something that a lot of people will think is quite boring, but I absolutely love it. This is the body polisher from The Body Shop, and it's essentially just a really, really big plasticky cloth. I use this in the shower instead of the really soft loofah. Lately I've noticed whenever I use a loofah I always feel like I'm just like moving bubbles around on my skin and not exactly um, exfoliating or getting all the dead skin cells off of my body. So I decided to pick up one of these body polishers. 
I was actually looking for a product very similar to this um, from Japan. It's called Salux. I'm probably saying that completely wrong, but I couldn't seem to get a hold of it, so I ended up picking up this one. You use this in place of your loofah and you just scrub your body with it um, with your body wash or whatever you have. So I have used this quite a bit since I got it and I don't think I can go back to using just a loofah. I don't use this all the time because sometimes I do have um, some fake tan on so I don't want to be scrubbing that off or exfoliating my skin or else the color is going to come off. Um, but every now and again, um, maybe a couple times a week, I like using this just to cleanse my skin and exfoliate. And this is one massive piece of cloth by the way. Um, you could even cut it in half and get more out of your money. But the next item, also from the body shop, is something along the same lines, and it is a body brush. So this is the body shop's body brush. Um, it is not their cactus brush. I believe their cactus brush actually has like a long stick connected to it, so you actually like can use it in the shower. But I decided to go for this smaller one. This is just a little round brush with a wooden top and natural fibers on the bottom. The main reason why I got this is because I wanted to start um, body brushing. If you guys don't know what body brushing is, it is basically a technique to um, regulate the blood circulation in your body. It also helps with cellulite and takes out the toxins in your body, so that's why I got this. I will have a full review on this, as well as a video on body brushing coming soon. But just to give you an idea of how I use this, I basically start from my toes and work my way up my body with this brush, and I'm just brushing brushing my skin um, towards my heart and it basically just detoxifies your body and you feel great afterwards. So I recently picked up another bottle of my favorite cleanser of all time. This is the Super Facialist by Una Brennan and it is a vitamin C brighten skin renew cleansing oil. So this is what I use to take off my makeup every single day and I love it so much. This stuff literally melts away my makeup and it smells so good. Unfortunately, Winners is the only place that I ever seen um, Una Brennan being sold. I know it's easier to pick up Una Brennan in the UK, um, and honestly, the products are so good and they're really affordable. I did leave the price tag on, which I probably should take off, but I did get it for $10 and this is going to last me so long. I really wish that we were able to have Una Brennan's brand here in our drugstores, but unfortunately we don't. So if you see any of her things in Winners or HomeSense, be sure to pick it up because her products are so amazing. So moving on to some more fashion items, I did pick up um, a pair of shoes from Winners as well as I was picking up the Una Brennan. So these are the shoes that I decided to pick up from Winners. Um, they kind of remind me of some ones that I saw from... Um, Zara, but these were a little bit cheaper and pretty much the same quality. It is from a brand called Groove. I haven't heard of the brand before, but these shoes are actually really good quality. Um, it is a leather upper with a plastic um, heel that looks like wood. I really like these because um, it has like the little cutouts um, on the side here and it has a little peep of a toe. I'm not the type of person to wear um, a ton of sandals and like flip-flops during the summer. I love my black boots, so that's why I got this one. These shoes are actually really comfortable. It has some padding on the sole, so um, it's not going to be hard on your feet. And another feature that I really like is it actually has um, this Velcro bit that closes the boot. Now I am such a lazy person. I hate doing up laces. I hate pulling up zippers. I just like this one because it's literally Velcro. I feel like a child again. These shoes were also really, really affordable. I think I paid like $40 for them. Um, and Winners also has a ton of great brands, so it's a really good place to check out. Every time Zara has a sale, I always make some time to go check it out because they always have some really good deals. And I ended up picking up one thing from Zara, and um, that is a pair of jeans. I actually don't have a pair of light grey jeans, so I just decided to pick this one up as it was in their mid-season sale and was like half price. So I got this in my regular size and they are just this um, really light pair of grey jeans. Um, they're kind of distressed, it has a little rip on the knee over here, um, and it's just a really nice pair of skinny jeans. I love Zara jeans because um, they're really, really affordable and the material is quite thick and quite durable on them. 
I wouldn't say Zara jeans are my favorite of all time. Um, I still really like the Topshop jeans because they're just so comfortable to put on. But I really like Zara jeans just because their quality is really, really good for their price. And you can get really cool trendy pieces there as well without breaking the bank. H&M has been killing it lately. I have been picking up quite a few things from there. And for this haul, I have two new tops. Um, you would have seen this first top. Um, I already wore this in one of... My makeup tutorials, I think it was my blue liner tutorial, and it is just this really really nice blouse that is white and blue. This is just a peasant blouse that has a little bit of stretchiness on the top neckline, and it also has it at the bottom. What I really like about this is um, how light it is. I've been looking for some really nice summer tops that are not too expensive because I'm the type of person that would spend a lot more money on big thick sweaters because of seasons and such. But I did just want to pick up a few light summery things um, just to wear when it's not freezing in Canada. This blouse is a little bit cropped so I'm going to have to wear it with um, some high-waisted pants or something like that. Um, but it's just really cute and I really like the color. I am trying to get more into some cooler tone colors, so this is just perfect. I think these would actually go nice um, with the gray jeans that I just showed you. And yeah, I might pick up some white jeans too, you never know. Oh my god, I am so excited for this next item. You would have seen it in one of my favorites videos because I got it so long ago, but I haven't yet hauled it. I'm so excited. So also from H&M, I picked up this little blouse, and it is so cute. It is just a um, blue off-the-shoulder top. Literally, this is one of the most flattering pieces in my summer wardrobe. I love this thing so much. I saw one of the models in the H&M campaign wear this blouse, and I just had to have it. It is just a regular off-the-shoulder top, but it has um, these two stringy bits that go over your shoulders. This is just a really nice flowy blouse that kind of flares out a little bit. I love this so much. Um, I've been wearing it quite a bit lately, even though it is still quite chilly here. I've just been putting a leather jacket over top and it just looks so cute. Like I said before, I'm trying to get more into some cool colors and I just think this blue is just so precious. I did get this in a US size 10 because it was the last one in the store, um, but I could definitely go away with a 8 or even a 6. And speaking of cute things, I went to Brandy Melville and picked up a couple things for spring. So the very first thing that I picked up from Brandy Melville is a cap. Now if you saw one of my favorites videos a while ago, um, you would have seen that I am loving baseball caps at the moment, and I just thought I would pick up a new one. I was going to pick up one of their California caps in like their dark navy blue, but I just saw this white one and I just had to have it. It was the last one in the store and oh my god, it is so cute! So you might not be able to see much of it because it is so white, um, but this is just a really nice white cap um, from John Galt and on the front it says in bright pink lettering, peachy. I saw this on um, Brandy Melville's Instagram and I was like, oh my god, I need it, it's so cute, it says peachy! I have been eyeing some of the UNIF baseball caps for so long um, and they have like little avocados on them, they have little peaches like strawberries and stuff like that, so I decided to get this one because it's so cute! This cap is just like the regular John Galt baseball caps um, with the bronze hardware and actually on the back um, by this whole thingy um, it also says like the address in pink lettering just like um, the words peachy on the front. It is so cute. I can tell I'm gonna get my makeup all over this thing but you know it's totally worth it. I can totally just wash it and it'll be completely fine. What do you guys think? So the next item that I picked up from Brandy Melville I am also in love with. Basically Brandy Melville just is just life. I freaking love that store so much. But the next item that I picked up is a wonderful vintage neck scarf. I actually saw this on one of the mannequins at Brandy Melville and I just had to ask one of the girls to get it down for me because it's so pretty. So this is just a polyester um, square scarf um, that is navy blue and it has um, white and red and blue stripes. Okay, so it was a little bit expensive for what it is, but I mean, it's just so cute and I think the colors are just adorable and you can wear it so many ways. I can even wear it as like a little headband or something like that. 
It's so cute. The last item of this haul and from Brandy Melville is a shirt. I know I cannot leave Brandy Melville without getting a new t-shirt. They're just so soft and so comfortable. And the one that I decided to pick up is this one that says Los Angeles. I think this shirt is just so cute. It has a little white and red collar on the front. Um, it has this red and yellow logo on the front of it and it also has um, something printed on the back. I love seeing shirts that have um, stuff printed on the back. I think that is just so awesome. Brandy Melville clothing is just so soft and like, oh my god, they're so comfortable to wear. Um, the only thing that I would say about this is that you need to be very careful with them because um, they are quite delicate. Oh, and also from past experiences, I do know that um, Brandy Melville t-shirts do stretch a little bit, so keep that in mind when you're buying them. Um, when I actually first put this on, I thought it was a little bit too tight, um, but obviously they're all one size, so you can't really um, say anything about that. But once you wear them a couple times and um, you put them through the wash, they will stretch out just a tiny bit. I would have liked if this shirt was just a tad bit longer. Um, I also wanted the sleeves a bit longer, but I think once I wash it a little bit, it will get to that point where I love it so much and will wear it constantly. So that is it for my spring makeup and fashion haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys want to see how I style some of these items or use some of these items like the body brush, etc, etc, um, please do let me know in the comments. I hope this video puts you in the mood for some spring and summer shopping. If you guys already have some hauls up um, of your own on your channels, please link them down below and I will totally check them out. I love being nosy and checking out what other people are buying. So like always, remember to like and subscribe. Um, I will have all my blog posts down below as well if you want to check that out. But I think that is it for me today, guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye!